Well, it looks like NASA always isn't telling us everything uh, people should know, but then again, if people know everything, they panic. And that's, you know, that's pretty much the um, main impetus by which a lot of people push uh, videos on YouTube about doom and gloom. But I want to tell you some reality. Actually, there's um, going to be a near-miss asteroid that's two minute miles wide. Uh, that should be passing us close, but not hitting us within the next day or two. Uh, pretty much coincides with that, um, I, I don't know if it was some kind of religious group predicting the end of the world or something, you know, not too far off, but, um, you know, be that as it may, let me just tell you this, and this is uh, some common sense stuff, that um, we are actually going through an area of the Milky Way that's going to have a show a lot more near misses on asteroids in the up- upcoming years than it has been in the past decades, many decades that is, probably hundreds of years. Um, but, you know, if there's something that's going to be close or some near miss or some garbage, it's like, uh, this was another story that was buried. Um, I, you can look, you can actually find it on CNN, too. I mean, it's not like it's totally buried, but they didn't tell you about it until it was about two days away. <laughs> so I'm like, wow, man. Um, well, let me just point to you to tell you this, that it always does pre- pay to be prepared for contingencies, and I know if the contingency is beyond what you can do, it's just way bigger than us, well, so be it. You know, that's just the way the ball bounces, right? Proverbial ball, the way the asteroid bounces, or whatever you want to call it. But, you know, the thing is that uh, you should be somewhat prepared without being a worry wart or running around like Chicken Little, the sky's going to fall every freaking two seconds. And um, there's always something that can possibly happen, be that an earthquake uh, look at what happened in South Carolina here in the last few days. They had the um, rainfall that um, was like the 1,000-year rainfall or 200-year rainfall or whatever. I think there's a portion of I-95 that's still closed. It's 70 to 80-mile stretch. I-95 only traverses through South Carolina for 199 miles. So that's almost 40% of it that's closed. Uh, I guess there's alternating alternate routes, but then again... I mean, you know, this wasn't expected to be that way. Plus, now they're even having more rain. So, you know, I mean, hey, you know, it, it does prepare. It does. It is a smart thing to prepare for contingencies. You know, I actually even have on my channel. Um, it's kind of a hodgepodge. I got, my channel is like a lot of different things. It's a lot of different subjects. And, you know, it's primarily about some of the financial markets. But I got a lot of other things out there. It's just about you surviving in a situation where you possibly... There's no medical people around. There's nothing, nobody there to help you. So I got a lot of repair, how-to, and self-reliance videos. I actually have a playlist on it. Actually, one I want to tell you that I thought was good. Well, there's several of them. There's a lot of them good ones on there. But one that you might really want to look at is how to re-energize, re-energize a dead generator. Man, that was a simple method. You might want to take a look at that puppy. That surprised me because it worked. It worked. I was looking it up, and I was had a problem with a generator I didn't use, one of my generators. And uh, But, you know, I actually go through a lot of different things on here, emergency water storage treatment and acquisition and things like that. Uh, you know, how to just, you know, take apart things that are rusty bolts, uh, gas mask, you know, which can be long-term f- handy in some situations, long-term fuel, uh, for f- full food storage, long-term full storage, uh, amaranth, cooking amaranth, easy way to cook it, stuff, all kinds of stuff, fixing your chainsaw, man, you just name it, so, you know, I, I'm not just one of these guys that are like, eh, the sky's falling, go click on my link, and I, I'm going to tell you, though, if the sky is falling, and if it ever is really falling for real, they ain't going to tell nobody, that's a fact, actually, you know, if I want to get into some drama, I think the number on this asteroid was eight with four sixes. Maybe that's got some kind of Illuminati thing, like 666 with an extra 6. I don't know what the hell that means. But let me just tell you this. This is common sense. You know, asteroids have hit this Earth and caused create, 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 massive damage. Created massive damage. They have created massive havoc. Uh, they destroyed species probably in the past. I don't know what... You know, nobody really knows what the hell happened when the dinosaurs disappeared off the Earth. They're not a, They unearthed them today... And they say some kind of massive ice age occurred real fast because um, there was grass frozen, like jungle um, vegetation, that was in their stomach when they were frozen stiff. They were just frozen in place. Something happened. I don't know what. You know, nobody really knows what. 
And, you know, science is almost like a religion sometimes. Yeah, it's science, yeah, it's facts, but then, you know, religion is facts and facts too, you know what I mean? That's how they put it, right? So, nobody really knows. I'm just telling you that if they don't, they're not going to tell you what the hell's going to happen, if something's going to happen, because they don't want to panic nobody. Now, this is a chart of near-Earth asteroid discoveries, and you can see it goes up to 20, again, to 2014. It's like, and what they project in the future, it's going to make this chart look like nothing. So here you're going back to the 50s over here on the way on the left side, and nothing going on, right? All the way on the right side, um, massively far more numerous near-miss asteroids discover near and uh, near earth asteroid discoveries near misses or whatever you want however you want to put it um you know i was actually uh, looking at the diy auto school channel southwest rod and custom pete down there and i was thinking boy you ought to move down to florida here because uh you know the uh the weather is going to be a lot better for restoring cars but you know he's moving up to utah and i'm thinking dude you're probably a lot smarter freaking moving up to utah because if there's ever an asteroid that would be the place I'd want to be. It wouldn't want to be in Florida, man, because all the water, you know, if it's, you know, what's the chance of an asteroid hitting water, one of the oceans, if it hits the earth, a lot greater than it hits the land, and if it hits the oceans, you know what's going to happen, major tidal wave. So, I don't know if that would, you know, I'm, I'm in a, one of the highest places in Florida, but then again, I don't know how good that would be. I don't know. It could be something stupendous. And, um... You know, it makes me it gives me pause for thought too, to tell you the truth. But I'm doing my preparations the best I can and um I don't worry about this stuff but I know there's so many different things that can happen. You know, there's been earthquakes unexpectedly in California, there's been um the major flood just happened here less than a week ago. I, I mean I never seen I ninety five close like that in South Carolina. That it's uh it's like thirty five to forty percent of the entire length of the highway in South Carolina, which it stretches 199 miles, is closed. And it's going to be raining more. I don't know what's going to happen this winter. Maybe we're going to have some crazy winters. So, I mean, you know, when I'm talking about this stuff with the near-miss asteroids, you might be thinking, ah, that's bullshit, right? Well, it isn't bullshit. That chart I just showed you, it's like we are going through a place, a, a portion of the Milky Way that is getting more and more asteroids we're going through like this asteroid numerous asteroid belt area of the milky wave to put it in a very unscientific way okay but what i'm telling you is these guys are not going to tell you what the hell's up they don't want panic they want people panicking and i don't want people panicking i'm just telling you that it, it pays to do stuff a little bit at a time here and there to prepare yourself for any kind of emergency comes up it, it this asteroid thing i, I think i think it's going to come up not this year. I think it's going to come up maybe in a, maybe five years from now, six years from now, or some crap. But then, I don't know. I mean, I, the reason I say I think it's going to come up because it's on those Illuminati playing cards. The original game set, that original game set, has so, been so uncannily accurate, it's, it's ridiculous. I, that's what's making me think it's going to happen. And what I think... Is it ain't going to tell us nobody shit before it's going to happen. Okay, just put it in plain language. Okay? Uh, they're not going to tell anybody a damn thing about it. Because they'll panic people. And then again, I don't know what their game is. Because, you know, the, the problem, the thing is, anytime there's a major cataclysmic event or something that happens out of the ordinary, it always gives the powers that be, whatever you want to call them, the elite controllers, an excuse to freaking uh, set up a lot more rules and control people. That's what I don't like about this shit. You know, I mean, if it was like back in the old West, we just deal with this shit. You know what I mean? Come on, I'm playing blunt, blunt over here. But I want to tell you that I do have, you know, and I don't have any anti-asteroid videos out here like, you know, wear a tinfoil hat or anything. But I have like, you know, how to build a hurricane-proof fence. I put something up with, uh, uh, you know, it's not going to stop an asteroid, but it's going to stop a lot of wind. Um, you know, every two feet, um, board on board, uh, four by four. Every two feet, sunk it in the ground, two and a half feet with 160 pounds each post. And with top header across with three two by fours, all, all uh, pressure treated with the best uh, 20 year uh, flood stain and stuff. You know, no bullshitting around, man. You know, manual tire changing. You know, hey, man, maybe you'll have flats or you need to do something with your car 
or something, and you know, there's not there's going to be too much of a demand. You can call AAA, and you know, it'll be down there maybe in a week because they're overloaded. <laughs> you know, waterproofing um, different things, um, rust proofing things, painting things, solar power, uh, different things like that. You know, uh, you know. Redneck wig, rig into your MIG welder in case something breaks. I found ways to bypass the freaking, uh, you know, the wire feed on a MIG welder. You know, hey, man, I mean, and actually, you know, we're there's something else I want to point out that uh, we're going through the area. I'm going to, you know, actually there's been major scientists that have actually said, called out the global warming as total BS. That's something else. Um you know, maybe not the asteroid, but, you know, related to, like, solar activity. Um, but actually, along with um, global, you know, global cooling, we have uh, a lack of uh, as sun activity, lack of sunspots, and also a lowering of the magnetosphere, which also means we can have a EMP, a Carrington type of event. I think it occurred last time was in 1859. It actually fried the telegraph lines. All this electronic crap we got would be just toast. So, I mean, you know, prepping old school farm style, you know, it, uh, you know, old uh, kerosene heaters with cotton wicks and stuff like that, and, uh, you know, wh- how to make a fire, you know, how to make do without electricity, how to cook, all that kind of stuff. It, it will be good to know. So, I'm telling you that, you know, they did not tell us about this damn asteroid till, um, like, just now. <laughs> <laughs> and they said there'll be a near miss of a two mile wide asteroid. Two miles. Holy smokes. Hey baby. Uh it's on CNN. It's not bullshit. It's not supposed to hit us. But like again, I'm telling you, I'm showing you this chart. This chart, we're actually going into an area that we're going it's this is not the end of the chart. This is actually the end of four twenty fourteen. We're going into a lot more near miss asteroid. Uh, events coming up in the future far more than that's on his chart it would be off this chart by hitting the ceiling or something you know uh, so I almost think that that Illuminati playing card off the original game with the asteroid hitting the earth it's probably going to be happening I don't know where I don't know when but uh, don't panic but then again don't be an ostrich and stick your head in a hole but do what you want it's all individual choice I'm not here to panic people I'm just kind of here to, like, you know, tell people about the situation in a calm fashion, relax them. And, you know, it could be fun to prep. It could be fun to prep. Think of it as a hobby, for crying out loud. I mean, you don't have to be like, oh, the sky's falling. You know, that's what, the, that's what a lot of people do on YouTube. No, 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 no. They play the big drama music in the background. There's no drama music in the background. I could play some crap like that. and da, 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 da. But I'm not doing that, okay? I'm not doing that. But uh, I just found this interesting that... Here we got this near miss asteroid. It's on a major media. It's two miles wide. And you know, astronomers are going to be checking it out anyway. They'll be looking up, seeing if it's going to smack right into their telescopes or something. And, and uh, they didn't tell nobody about it. They probably knew about it for a long time. He's like, let's, let's not tell anybody. Uh, you know what I mean? You got you got my drift. And, you know, like I said, here's look what just happened in, uh, with this big freaking hurricane with the flooding in South Carolina. Hey, that wasn't, ex- it was expected, but then it wasn't expected like that, right? People are out there in boats, right? Hey, I got a boat. <laughs> I mean, maybe, maybe I'm over 100 feet up in Florida, which is pretty high for Florida anyway. That's about as high as you can go. But I got a boat too, baby, <laughs> and it's got a sail on it, man. So me and the cat's going to jump in that damn thing if the asteroid comes this way, and we'll we'll be uh, flying off to, uh, sailing off to probably Utah or some shit, maybe and uh, hang out by Pete, <laughs> if we make it that far. Anyway, uh, so over now, I'm just going to tell you that the, yo- the yo-yos on the top don't tell you the whole deal. They never will, because they're going to panic everybody, and I, I don't know if they got nefarious plans. They probably don't. They probably don't. So we the people will stick together, and I'm going to keep giving you hands-on stuff to how to fix shit and... Uh, Stay self-reliant, like I've kept some of these videos out. I got loads of them out there. Not even just in that playlist. I think I got like 3,500 videos on this channel, and I'd say at least 500 of them are like along this self-reliant shit, how to do stuff. Easy. So, uh, you know, if you know how to do stuff on your own, hey, you'll be independent. You'll be able to ride out the storm. That's what I'm saying.